Yari, parang, I'm thinking about HMO, pero I'm not sure which one. There's so many options here in the country. What makes you unique? That's where you come in. The third one is a cold one. They're not active. They have money, but they're not active. They're not actively seeking it. And the thing is, in marketing, we have a saying that people do not know what they want until you present it or show it to them. You know, I have a saying with for example, I wanted to buy, for example, a pair of red shoes. Nakita ko social media, gusto ko ng red shoes for an event. And I go to the mall, I see on the, the glass door, a green pair of shoes worn by my favorite celebrity or athlete. Guess what happens? I buy green shoes instead. Or you buy a green dress. You want to buy a red dress? Hindi thematic yung event mo puta mo. You want to buy a red dress and then you see the green dress. Because you don't know what you actually want. You're not a shoe designer. You're not a clothes designer, right? What made you choose that dress that you're wearing? Why is it floral? Because you like it, right? But you don't know that you wanted that until you saw it what? in a store, for example. When you buy a phone, do you just buy a phone now? Go to store. Ano magandang phone dyan? Based sa 10,000 budget ko. Nag-google ka, di ba? search ka or tinatanong mo yung kaibigan mo na meron ganun. Okay ba yung Xiaomi? Okay ba yung Samsung? Diba? Now you're researching. People don't know what they want. They're confused. Or not just confused. They're not informed. That's why you want to inform them of what you have here. Papakita ko sa'yo. Kasi I see your problem. I understand your situation. This is how you solve your problem. You know, you're not like pakita mo lahat, diba? Nang alas mo. You want to know what they have that they're thinking first before you show them something. Parang nilabas mo na lahat alas mo eh. Ubad na ubad ka na. You don't want that. You want to leave something for yourself. Kaya nga meron mga rebut Rebuttals, diba? uh, have you practiced like rebuttals for your business? You have like FAQs. I'm not familiar with uh, the product, but you have FAQs. Frequently asked, pro- like, magagamit ko ba yan para sa anak ko? Yung mga ganun. E paano kung ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Everything that's commonly asked, you should know by heart. That's a tool. It's part of their Rambo knife. Ah, babalikan kita ha? Hindi ako sure eh. I won't be confident buying something from you if you're gonna say, all these products, pwede sa'yo yan. Pero hindi, in fact, hindi. That was a problem with he would say, ano shoes pwede niya pang running? Lahat po yan, sir. Pwede. Kucha, kahit yung brown shoes nila na ano, Bebenza, pwede po yan, pang, pang running. Lahat po yan, casual. Lahat po yan, pwede pang basketball. I had to spend eight months training people from, it starts with the immediate managers and to the staff. Because if you train the managers, you can train the staff to do that. Because the frontliners, the ones who's in front, they cannot be equipped without shields. Alam yung sa movie na 300, yung kay Gerald Butler, yung may shield sila, they all together, forming a shield. They work together as a group. That's a team. They working together to defend themselves. To defend yourself, you need to know how to rebut. Important yan. If you don't know what you're telling, then uh, mahirap. So, I want to share also six rules for more sales. Okay? And these are important. These are th- things that I wanted to share with you. Number one is never hyper-focus on one client alone. Again, like what I said, you do not live and die with one sale. You're not. You're defined by how many balls you put up in the air. When they fall, it means that they're ready to buy. You know how to grab them. It's not just one big whale. Ang tao kasi, karamihan gusto one time, big time eh. Kaya gusto natin nagja-jackpot, diba? Tuwan-tuwa tayo sa, sa contest parang nanalo ng one million. One million is not gonna change someone's life. <laughs> I hope you, you you would believe that because I've experienced that, that 1 million is not going to change someone's life. Maybe not even 10 million. Today's inflation, inflation rates are by You see the gas prices? Wild. If you go to a birthday party for a friend, taga south ka punta ka north, huwag ka na magregalo. Yung preses mo lang, regalo na yun eh. Sobrang mahal. Diba? You have to worry about parking and everything. Your presence alone is big for someone. Kucha, pwede mo na paregalo yung gas ngayon eh. So, don't focus on one client. Focus on how many clients you can get. Number two, never one What's next? Ano na susunod? After you talk to someone, ano nang gagawin ko? Diba? Always thinking about the next client, next client, next client that you're gonna talk to. The next friend that you're gonna ask for a referral to. Because your next deal should always be in the works. It's always like that. Diba? You're not thinking na tipong, ano na susunod? Tapos ko na ako sapin yung dalawa eh. Hindi pwede yan. You always have to be talking to another person, another and another. It's non-stop. That's how sales is. Like, like, it's like you have a thousand seeds here, but you throw it to the ground. Do you check your seed every day to see, nag-grow ba? Nag-grow ba? Patay yun. Di ba? If you open a seed that you planted, nag-grow ba? Patay. Sure ball yun. Because a seed needs time to nurture. You can't force it. Kaya nga marami naging plantito-plantita because it shows patience. But 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, you don't know. Sometimes 180 days before something comes up. An apple tree takes about two years before it can bear fruits. But it's gonna feed you for life. What you're doing, talking to all people, you're planting seeds so that you don't have to worry about tomorrow. That's your money tree. Put as many seeds as you can. The seeds are people. Di ba may belief na there's strength in numbers? Numbers. It's a numbers game. Kaya sabi ko, 
in outbound sales. In one month, we did an outbound sales for a product called Asai Berry. It's a new product. During 2007, I had the highest sales because I dialed the most. Every day, a person would only average 150 dials. I would average 400 dials. I don't stop. Get rejected, go on to the next. Next, 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 next. My average dial out. I dial as many people as I can. I get as many people that I can contact to. Uy, baka may kilala ka sa ganyan. May kilala ka ganyan. Kasi if you don't ask, what will you always get? No. A no. Diba? Always ask. If, if you don't ask, the answer you always get is a no. Mamaling kaya niya ako? Gustingin niya kaya ako? Hindi mo alam. Gusto mo ba ako? Diba? Gusto mo ba ako? Pag sumagot sila, okay. Pag hindi pa, uh, uh, hindi ko alam eh. At least you know. Diba? Hindi ako sigurado. You can't control them. Sige na, oo lang hindi. You give them an option. No, it's not like that. Right? You give, give, give as much as you can before you can take what's rightfully yours. You can say, bumili ka sa akin ng lima. Wala ka pang binigay sa akin na anything. Like anything of value. It's an exchange. We believe that money is the oldest form of social media media because we're all connected by money. You connected this company with money. You connected to other people through money as well. We've all had exchange. That's one of the oldest social media platforms in the world. Money. Think about it. Most of your connections, if it's not a relative, you're connected through money. The oldest form of social media. Kaya ang pumutok din yung crypto eh. The more users there are for cryptocurrency, for Bitcoin, the higher the value of the money becomes. It's the same thing in sales. Next rule for more sales is that always think that you are surrounded by opportunities. Okay? Never think there are no opportunities. Some people leave the country because they think there's no job or opportunities for them in the country. There's so much money to make here in the country. People leave because they think na one opportunity sa akin dito. Because that's how they see it. Iba kaya ng iba nag nurse ganon sa ibang bansa. The doctors here become nurses in another country because they think that there's no opportunity here for them, right? But always have in sales, there always be a need for sales people. Hindi nawawalan people who are good in sales know how to sell things. You're always surrounded by opportunities. You're making contracts, trying to get referrals referrals all the time. A referral is really important. Even if you didn't close that deal with a person, a referral will always be very important. Like, di ba kami kilala ka naman na tingin mo na kailangan ng ganito? Uy, Mars. Di ba? Yung mga ganun. Now that you're close, you've shared a coffee with that person, baka naman, di ba? Kaya nga, we're, we're not not just divided by, by separated by six people now. I believe it's just three. Because my connection, for example, can lead me to another closable sale. Generating new types of opportunities. That's good. Basta, you're always reaching for new clients. Because if you're stuck with the old clients and you've pitched them already, all you can do with them is just follow up and follow back. They're cold. Kaya important yung contacts mo, as many as you, you can get. Even if you move to another type of sales, you can always offer that to that person because you have their number. You have their Facebook, di ba? In, in LinkedIn, I'm one of the most followed LinkedIn personalities in the Philippines, top 20 because I make connections. I network. I'm not there to make friends. I'm there to make connections with the CEO or the marketing director or of another company, di ba? When you're LinkedIn, it's not just to get a job because you want to connect to as many people in your industry. Connect to as many people in marketing, in sales, in branding. I like to connect with them. Not an accountant. Maybe may accountant, but kung sila yung gusto mo connect sa'yo, fine. It's not like Facebook na, tingnan ko to, ay, guwapo ba? Ay, maganda ba? Hindi na wag na, huwag mo accept Iba, with LinkedIn, is different. Same in the real world. You don't judge people how they look, you know? Some people, when they go buy a car, a Mercedes-Benz, sometimes they would wear basketball shorts, nakachinelas lang, and they would look at sino unang lalapit sa kanila. Yeah, they do that a lot. You won't dress up in a suit and, you know, dress to go, I want to buy a car. Diba? Siyempre. Diba? You want to see someone who will appreciate you for who you are. Kaya nga, we don't judge. Someone comes in the door, yeah, that's a potential client for you. Like, someone texts you asking for information and such, eh, you judge them. Ay, mukha naman walang pera. Diba? We're so judgmental kasi of how people look. You know, wealth is invisible. The car that you drive or the house that you is, it's not that. Real wealth is invisible. How much you know, how much network that you have that defines who you are not what you're wearing people think it's like that because they hide the insecurities no don't judge people if you're in sales never judge people you'll never know who you're talking to one big mistake if you're gonna do that always remember that it takes the same energy to manage one client four clients and ten clients we believe in that rule for sales even if you extend all your energy to one person if you divide them into six it's the same energy that you're gonna spend if I'm talking to you right now and I go to another room do another talk like this I'm gonna spend the same energy same energy Kaya sabi ko, oh, feeling ko mayaman to. I'll spend 100% of my energy. Ito mukhang kaibigan lang ako na kahit bahay ko, walang pera. 50% lang energy spend ko dito. They're always going 100%. 100%. 100%. Always like that. So you're spending the same energy to manage one client as it does with 4, 5, 6, 10 clients. Always go back to energy, enthusiasm, and expertise. Next thing, control your flight path. You know your priorities. Which one is your priority? When you go out your door, you don't know, kailangan alam mo kung sino yung unang pupunta mo. Sino yung priority 
priority mo? Is it the hot client? Is it the warm client? Or is it the cold client? Which one is your priority? Yeah, most people say that, oh, mag-workout ako, pero hindi nyo nagagawin. Because it's not a priority. Never say that you're busy. When people say that they're busy, it blows you off opportunities. People are employed are always busy because they're focused on a task. When you're busy doing something, you're not gonna be able to have opportunities for yourself. That's why you have to always, di ba, you believe in yes, right? But you always have to say yes too. Like for example, dinner, someone calls you. Ay, hindi ko sagutin yan, tapos na yung oras ko na pagtanggap ng tawag. Eh, paano kung closable na client pala yung tumawag sa'yo? Pero sabi mo, no, tapos na yung oras ko, I don't wanna talk to anyone. Someone calls you at 11 p.m., you don't close yourself to that opportunity. Sales is 24-7. 24-7, it's non-stop. Non-stop. Even on a Sunday, you know, you go to a, a gathering and such, eventually, may makausap ka rin. It's non-stop. It's not like you clock in, you clock out, tapos na, okay, back to pampering myself or just watching Netflix. Bala kayo dyan. May nareceive akong 40 messages sa Viber or WhatsApp. Bukas ko nire replyan It's not a priority. Parang ganun. Know your priorities. Know which one you need to do first. Distinguish if it's a task. A task is like opening email, responding to emails, going to work, calling people. But then, trying to get contacts is not a task because it's uncomfortable. Nakakaya, di ba, minsan magtanong no, ng ganun, di ba? Pero, it's an uncomfortable thing to ask someone. Nakakaya magtanong, baka ma-reject ako. Ask. Make it a priority. So now, kumakapal yung face mo. For you to be able to be successful, you have to do things that are very, very uncomfortable for you. If you're not comfortable asking for referrals, I have bad news for you. You're not gonna succeed if you're not gonna ask for referrals from people. Know which ones need more time and attention. So, alam mo kung yung closable, yung kailangan mo unahin the next day. Kasi sinabi niya, ready na ako, you're there. And some na kailangan ng parang extra push. Do you need more time or do you need more information? Baka pwede ka tambihan information about, you know, how it can be beneficial for your family and such. You give them more reason reasons to get your product without being too intrusive yung tipong bastos na lastly you don't just finish a client talking to them you know and care for each client genuinely genuine kayo when you, you say you care about them because ano pangalan ng company <laughs> they care care the word care you care about the person you don't just care about yourself you care about the other person super care pa yun it's showing that you care and when people see that you care for them what happens they trust you one wrong thing in social media that people do for example they have a Facebook account and they put out all these posters na ginagawa nyo on social media na kalabas parati the benefits etc etc without giving out the value in it and then what you do is this automatic you message everyone you connect to for example in-add mo siya sa Facebook sa LinkedIn bilang hi my name is John and I'd like to tell you more about the ganyan ganyan e, hindi siya hindi nga kita kilala bigla mo ko ino-offeran ano sino ka ba diba you stab again you're planting seeds and now you've connected with them on Facebook on in, in Twitter Instagram whatever you wait and then you go back to them after a month. They've seen now your post and what you do, what value you bring, what product and service you have. And then, hi, thanks for connecting me. I appreciate it. Connect with them first. Establish a solid relationship first. You don't go for the kill right away. Right? This is not instant selling. They didn't come into your door right away. They're cold. Cold sila. Malamig sila. You don't close them right away. Kasi most people, again, they believe in instant gratification. Dahil nag-connect kayo sa Facebook or sa, sa LinkedIn, sipi mo agad, ay, interesado ito. Offeran ko agad. Kaya, please, if you have an instant message to someone that you connect to on LinkedIn, please do not do that. I'll show you on my phone how many people that I've connected to na Hi, my name is I'd like to introduce you to our insurance company. Ch -ch 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 -ch. It's so long. I'm not gonna read it. Sino ba to? Diba? Sino ba to? Eno ngayon, eno ngayon kung naka-Amerikana ka? Ano ngayon kung maganda yung tsura mo yan? No? I don't trust you because we don't have a relationship. Okay, everyone here is a best friend, right? At least someone that you share your deepest, darkest secrets to. If you met your best friend today, would you share your deepest, darkest secret to that person? Of course not. If you killed someone, for example, would you tell your best friend that you met today? Absolutely not. It's because why? You want to establish trust first with that person. It's the same in sales. Establish trust and respect and everything else before it actually happens. Okay, let's see what we can do with it. It's not immediate. All of our friends, all of our best friend, closest friends, were all strangers to us. Diba? Sa school, kaya madali ma-establish eh. Because Monday to Friday, kasama sila sa grade school, high school. Sa so paglabas yung ng school, tambay kayo after school, bibilyar kayo, kaya kumakain kayo sa labas, what happens? You're establishing trust and relationship. Tapos doon ka na nakapili, ay, ayoko siya kasama. Kasi, sa mga nugali niya, ganito, tamad, ganyan, di ba? So now you choose your own click. And now you filter those. You're establishing relationships. Always about the relationship that you're trying to build with.